Hello, and welcome to this video on Roman numerals and figured based in minor keys. At this point, if you have not watched the previous videos on Roman numerals and figured base, I would highly encourage you to watch those videos now, as it will help you learn the following material. Up until now, we have only looked at how Roman numerals apply to chords in major keys. We are now going to look at examples of chords in minor keys and how Roman numerals apply to those. All of the following examples assume that we are in a minor key. Before you, you see a C minor scale. We know it is in C minor because it has a key signature of three flats. The scale starts on C and moves stepwise up the octave until it reaches C again. You can see that under each note, the note is named, as well as underneath that, the scale degree is listed. Here we still have the C minor scale, but now we have a chord built on each scale degree. Just like with the major scales, the Roman numerals refer to the different scale degrees. Each scale degree, or note of the scale, serves as the root for that chord. The first chord is built on the first scale degree, which is a C. Therefore, it is marked with the Roman numeral 1. The second chord is built on the second scale degree, and therefore is marked with the Roman numeral 2. This carries all the way to 7 before it starts back at 1. Just like in a major key, the case of the Roman numeral refers to whether the chord is major or minor. Uppercase for major, lowercase for minor, lowercase with a circle or DIM for diminished, and uppercase with a plus sign or AUG for augmented. In a minor key, assuming none of the notes have been altered with accidentals, Chords built on the scale degrees 1, 4, and 5 are minor. Chords built on the scale degrees 3, 6, and 7 would be major. And chords built on the scale degree 2 will be diminished. That being said, frequently in minor keys or minor scales, we know that the 6th and 7th scale degrees can be raised by a semitone, which can affect the quality of those chords. So we always have to be careful when looking at the quality of chords in a minor key. We are now going to look at an example of a chord progression in a minor key. Before we begin to analyze it, let's listen to it to hear what it sounds like. The first step towards analyzing this is to identify the key we are in. Assuming we know we are in a minor key, we can look at the key signature. Since there is two flats in the key signature, we know we are in the key of G minor. If you are new at this, you might find it helpful to write out the scale along with the scale degrees. When looking at the first chord, we want to start by identifying the different notes of that chord and writing them out in a root position triad. So the notes we are looking at are a G, a B flat, and a D. When we write them out like this, we can see that G is the root. If we look at our scale, we can see that G is the first scale degree. Therefore, we can write a lowercase Roman numeral 1 to represent this minor chord. The base note of this chord is a G, which is also the root, meaning we have a root position triad. Because of that, we can leave the figured base notation blank. Writing out the notes for this second example, we will see that we have an F and an A. However, you notice that we are missing a third distinct note again. Remember that the fifth of the chord can sometimes be left out. So in this case, we have a chord based with the root of F. If we look at our chart, we'll see that F is the seventh scale degree, so we can mark it with a Roman numeral uppercase 7. If we look at the base, we see that is an F, which is also the root, so we can leave the figured, uh, the figured base notation blank. If we look at the notes in the next chord, we will see that we have an E flat, a G, and a B flat, with the E flat as the root. If we look at our scale degrees, we will see that E flat is the sixth scale degree, so therefore we can move forward and write an uppercase Roman numeral 6 to represent this major chord. If we look at the bass note, we'll see that there's a G as the bass note, which is the third of the chord. Therefore, we will use the figured no bass notation of a 6 to represent this first inversion chord. Writing out the notes for the next chord, we can see that we have a G, a B flat, and a D again. 
looking at our scale degree, we know that this is the first scale degree, so we can write a lowercase Roman numeral one, and because we are still in root position, we can leave out the figured bass notation. The next chord contains the notes A, C, and E flat. If we look at A in our scale degrees, we'll see that we have a two, and that it is a diminished chord, so we use a lowercase Roman numeral two and a little circle to represent that it is a diminished chord. Because A is the bass note, it is a root position, meaning we can leave out the figured bass notation. When we're looking at the notes of the next chord, we can see that there's a D, an F sharp, and a C. However, you'll notice that when we try to stack it in thirds, there's a note missing. Remember that sometimes the fifth of the chord can be left out. If we were to insert the missing note of which is an A, we would see that we would have a dominant seventh chord. Since D is the root of this chord, we can look at our scale to see that it is the fifth scale degree. However, it is really important to observe that notes have been altered in this chord using accidentals. So instead of having a minor five, we now have an F sharp as the third, meaning that it is a major chord. So we will write that out using a major, uh, a major five Roman numeral. A quick look at the bass note shows us that D is the bass note, which is also the root, meaning that we can use the figured bass notation of seven to represent a dominant seventh chord in root position. The next chord is exactly the same, except the bass note has been moved down an octave, so we can mark it again as a five seven chord. The last chord of this line contains the notes G, B flat, and D, with G as the root. Since G is the first scale degree, we can mark this with a lowercase Roman numeral one, and since it is in root position, we can leave out the figured bass notation.